the Simon Wiesenthal Center, a Los Angeles-based nonprofit association, began to build a museum of tolerance on the grounds of the Ma'aman Allah Cemetery in Jerusalem. The cemetery, better known as Mamila, has been a Muslim burial ground since the 7th century, when companions of the Prophet Muhammad were reputedly buried there. The cemetery houses the remains of soldiers and officials of the Muslim ruler Saladin from the 12th century, as well as generations of important Jerusalem families and notables. The cemetery grounds contain numerous monuments, structures, and gravestones attesting to its hallowed history, including the ancient Mamila pool, which dates back to the Herodian period, or the first century BC. This very old Islamic uh, cemetery is very important to the family in Jerusalem. Uh, it does not only, its importance does not come only from the fact that it is a cemetery that we have our ancestors buried there, but the importance is that we have been in this city for many, many centuries. The Israeli Religious Affairs Ministry acknowledged Mamila's great importance to the Muslim community. In a communique, it noted, Mamila is considered to be one of the most prominent Muslim cemeteries, where 70,000 Muslim warriors of Salaldin armies are interred, along with many Muslim scholars. The construction of the Museum of Tolerance has resulted in the disinterment and disposal of hundreds of graves and human remains, the whereabouts of which are currently unknown. Uh, this uh, Tolerance Museum to us is not a museum of tolerance. It's a museum of intolerance. Well, it's very inhumane. It is very uh, humiliating. And definitely it is to ignore our existence as Palestinian families in Jerusalem. The U.S.-based Center for Constitutional Rights is petitioning various United Nations offices, including the Special Rapporteurs on Freedom of Religion and Belief and on Contemporary Forms of Racism, together with the Director General of UNESCO, on behalf of Palestinian families whose ancestors are buried in the Mamila Cemetery. The petition has been signed by 60, diff 60 different individuals, 60 individuals who have family members who have who are buried in the cemetery. We are here, our ancestors were here, our grandchildren are here, and they're always here for the centuries to come.